Well, apparently, this song entered the public domain this year, so I don't want to get no copyright claims, okay? Cool. Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with uh, another clip from the Ed Sullivan Show. Um, today, it's going to be the song Mac the Knife. That's going to be performed by Bobby Darren. Um, <laughs> Mac, the, Mac the Knife goes back to a song composed by Kurt Wheel, <laughs> Whale, I don't know how to pronounce it, with lyrics by Bertolt Brecht for their 1928 music drama, The Three Penny Opera. Uh, I guess it was in German originally as well. Uh, so it's been, it was originally, I guess, done, the, okay, no, the popular standard recorded one was Louis Armstrong, um, but the most popular version was the one we're going to listen to today. And it won Bobby Darin two Grammys. And it also, Ella Fitzgerald received a Grammy for her performance of the song in 1961. So apparently the song's pretty good, I guess. So let's go. This is a Patreon request from, ba -ba -ba -ba, I believe it's Scott, right? Bobby Darren, Bobby Darren. Oh, no, this is William L. Oops, sorry. Well, thank you, William. I appreciate your support, my friend. Thank you very much. I'm excited. Let's do this. If y'all aren't subscribed, hit that button somewhere down there. It's below my face. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're not busy, leave a comment, too. You know, that always helps. All right, Bobby Darren on the Ed Sullivan Show, Mac the Knife. In three, two, one, go. Bobby Darren singing Mac the Knife. Let's have a nice hand for The shark bee has such teeth there, and it shows them pearly white. Just a jackknife has old Maggie Bay, and it keeps it out of sight. You know that shark bites with his teeth. Scarlet billows start to spread But fancy gloves though Where's old Maggie Heath be? So there's never, ever a trace of red This is in 1959 On the sidewalk, on a Sunday morning Lies of my day, just doozing life Get someone sneaking round the corner. I love the big band sound of this. Could that someone be Mac the Knife? Maybe. There's a tuck boat Ooh, that bass. down by the river, don't you know? It's like a double bass. Where a cement bag just drooping on down. Oh, that cement is for just for the weight. This whole like shtick reminds me of some Sinatra for some reason. No Mackey's back in town. Now you hear about Louis Miller. He disappeared me. After drawing out all of his harder cash. And now Mackey's spin just like a shilla. <laughs> He has, bro. And Miss Lucy Brown. Yes, so that line falls on the right page. Not that Maggie. Back in town. Wow. That was awesome. Bobby, you're back here. Take him out. 
do you think of this guy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Ed seems like a good dude. I never obviously watched his show. Like I, I brought up before, I, I was raised on like Conan and Conan O'Brien and stuff like that. So I was a little young, obviously. To, I don't think I was around for Ed Sullivan. Um, seems like a dashing chap though. He seems very funny. Uh, that was really cool, man. Uh, I, I know the quality wasn't like 100%, you know, but I still really enjoyed it. The, the upright bass that, that sounded so good, and he just had. Bobby he just had so much charisma. Um, his voice, like, really carries. I don't know if there's just like a mic just right out of the shot or like a boom mic, like right above him or something. But I, I swear, like, he's just projecting, man. Unless he was lip syncing back in 1959, but I doubt it. Pretty sure that was just him singing. <laughs> uh, but he's got a hell of a voice, and um, I don't know. He kind of reminded me of Frank Sinatra a little bit, just with his the whole just the, the demeanor he had, the quite kind of like swagger, you know, kind of walking back and forth, just. He knows he's the shit sort of thing, you know, and I think it really added to the piece of what he was singing. I mean, like originally it's it's about a, some guy with a knife named Mac in London or something like that. <laughs> That's what it says on here. What was it called? What is it? Um, the song tells of a knife wielding criminal of the London underworld. <laughs> it's from the musical named Mac Heath, the Mac the knife of the title. It's interesting. I don't even really know. I like I liked the big band element of it, I guess, the most, other than like the vo his vocals, obviously. Um, he really did have charisma, though. And I, I, I know that when I looked him up on Google, <laughs> uh, let's see, Bobby Darren said he, it di he died in 1973. Um, it doesn't say how or anything like that. He would have been for... Like 48, I'm guessing. 48, 47, something like that. Uh, 46. Uh, that's so sad. I, I swear the music business is a fucking killer, man. I don't know, obviously, what happened to him, but it's like either you survive, like like 5% or 10% like survive, and the rest just get left on the wayside. You know, some get immortalized forever, and then some just kind of fade into the our subconscious and the the zeitgeist that just leaves it, you know, um, I don't know, man, it's crazy how time just goes, like, this is me reminiscing on me <laughs> turning 30 next month, I guess, I don't know, this is crazy how fast time goes, like, my daughter turns three today, today's her birthday, you know, so, unfortunately, we're in court right now, more than likely, um, so it's just stupid, but I know that everything happens for a reason, and it'll turn out all right, I know it will, um, I really actually would like to hear more about Bobby and from Bobby. If you guys have any other tracks by him you think I'd like. Um, I know this wasn't, I guess, you know, like I said, the quality wasn't 100%, but still, I thought it was at least, you know, 75, 80%. And he shined through, man. Like I said, his charisma and his voice has just, it shined through even the 1959 recording quality, you know. Uh, and, he, and it said he won two Grammys from this. So I, I kind of, I see, that's the thing. Like, I debated on doing the studio like, there was one video from 15 years ago that I think was Mac the Knife, and then there was this one that wasn't for 15 years ago, so I was like, alright, well, maybe this one won't be, like, you know, as bad from the compression and stuff back then, so I guess I picked wrong, but I still really enjoyed it, so hopefully William is okay with this video, hopefully you enjoyed that, my friend, I really did, um, that's good, I definitely want to hear more from him, because he, uh, he's intriguing, he's like, he definitely has that kind of mystique you know, it's like, all right, so who's this guy? You know, sort of look about him. And uh, like I said, Ed seems like a funny dude. I think we have another video today as well, if you're watching day of premiere of another Ed Sullivan show video. But I don't know if that's today or tomorrow. I can't remember actually now. But I think that is it out of me, guys. Thank you for watching, and um, I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. You just said that. Stop. If you all don't know, we have a Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one for your request a month. Uh, join any of the tiers. You get access to all of our block videos, the Patreon exclusives, and the full album reactions. And you get to vote on our Spotlight Artist of the Month and all kinds of stuff, The songs, some songs that we do. Um, or you can send a request in via PayPal, uh, which is also in the description. You just click the button, and it'll take me, take you, not me, hopefully not me, take you right to where you need to go. Um, and we'd love to have you. We have a great community. Like I said, our Discord server is pretty active. Uh, just chatting away about music and... Um, we have a really good community. Like, we really do. And um, <laughs> I'm very lucky. Uh, I, I always say this, but I, I've seen other communities on YouTube, and 
it's rough. It's a lot of, I don't know, echo chamber nonsense, you know what I mean? And I'm glad that, for the most part, 99% of everybody here leaves that shit at the door. And thank you for doing that. I really respect you for respecting my digital domain, because just leave that shit at the door, bro. We're just here to enjoy the music, you know? The outside world doesn't affect this. Um, I mean, it does in its own ways, I guess, but we gotta just come together and enjoy the music. Forget all that other dumb shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> So uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I will see y'all later.